How to use a comma. Hello and welcome to VideoJug. We've consulted a selection of the world's leading authorities on punctuation, including the Oxford English Dictionary, the Penguin Guide to Punctuation and Lynn Truss's Eat Shoots and Leaves to bring you this guide to using commas. Step 1. The listing comma. The most common use of the comma is in place of the word and or or in a list of words. For instance, my favourite bands are U2 and Muse and the Cheeky Girls. This sentence sounds clumsy and a bit breathless. Try writing, my favourite bands are U2, comma, Muse and the Cheeky Girls. You shouldn't use the word and after a listing comma unless it helps clarify the meaning of your sentence. For instance, my favourite bands are U2, comma, Muse, comma, and Chaz and Dave. In this case, the extra and after the listing comma helps you make it clear you're not a fan of one band called Muse and Chaz and another band called Dave. Step 2. The joining comma. A joining comma is used to join two complete sentences together, so that the sentence, you must hand in your essay by Friday, and the sentence, you will receive a mark of zero, become, you must hand in your essay by Friday, comma, or you will receive a mark of zero. Notice, you must use a joining word after a joining comma. Words like and, or, but, yet, or while are all joining words, so the following sentence would be wrong. Bangladesh is one of the world's poorest countries, comma. Its annual income is only $80 per person. In this case, you should use a semicolon instead of a comma. Step 3. The gapping comma. A gapping comma is used to indicate that some words are missing from a sentence. So the sentence, some of us wanted to spend the night in a club, others wanted to spend the night in a bar, becomes, some of us wanted to spend the night in a club, others in a bar. The comma after the word others shows that the words wanted to spend the night have been taken out. You can use listing, gapping and joining commas together. For instance, Italy is famous for her composers and musicians, comma, France, comma, for her chefs and philosophers, comma, and Poland, comma, for her logicians and mathematicians, full stop. Step 4. The bracketing comma. The word comma comes from the Greek for a piece cut off. And as the Greeks invented commas, it's safe to say that the bracketing comma is the oldest form of comma ever used. A pair of bracketing commas is used to indicate an interruption that doesn't disrupt the smooth running of the sentence. As in, she groped for her cigarettes and, comma, finding them, comma, lit one. Which could also be written as, she groped for her cigarettes and lit one. The words within the bracketing commas can be taken out of the sentence without disrupting its meaning. Be careful about this point. As the following example shows, it's easy to get wrong. The people in the queue, comma, who managed to get tickets, comma, were very satisfied. Written with commas, this means the people in the queue were very satisfied. When what it's really trying to say is the people in the queue who managed to get tickets were very satisfied. If your weak interruption comes at the start or end of a sentence, it's completely acceptable to use just one bracketing comma. This is because you can't start or end a sentence with a comma. So the sentence... I think we can say that, comma, all in all, comma, we've done very well, could be written as, all in all, comma, I think we can say that we've done very well, full stop. Or, I think we can say that we've done very well, comma, all in all, full stop. Step 5. Weak interruptions. Though, because, since, after, before, if, when and although are all words that set you up for a weak interruption. Like this, although I like it here, I'm going to have to leave soon. If you use any of these words at the start of a sentence, it's acceptable to use a comma later on. Because there's no public transport, comma, I'm working from home today. Note that the final section is a sentence in its own right, I'm working from home today. But it's preceded by a qualification. While it may look the same, this is different to a bracketing comma. You can't take out the section before the comma without changing the meaning of the whole sentence. Step 6. The interjecting comma. This is the old-fashioned comma we all know and love, the comma to indicate a pause in the sentence. Stop, comma, or I'll scream. You should only really use one interjecting comma in a sentence, otherwise you risk over-punctuating. Stop, comma, or I'll scream, comma, and shout, comma, at all the people, comma, passing by, full stop. Step 7. Speech commas. Before you use quotation marks, you should always insert a comma, like this. She turned round and said, I don't want to go there. Done. 